Hello, you guys, and welcome back for more cleaning motivation. It's Regina here, and in today's video, we are cleaning my family room and um, specifically cleaning this disgustingly nasty rug. <laughs> Like when we first met, oh, I don't care, it's getting too late. I want you and I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'm going to show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me want to say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're mine, baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love All of your love I can't fake it when I'm with you, my legs go weak, hey. Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, hey. This feeling is getting so strong. Love me, so don't want it, love me. So when I initially started cleaning, I was just going to like straighten up the pillows and cushions and just wipe down like the calyx and the TV stand and all that good stuff. But um, I was at home alone. I was like, let me go ahead and clean this rug. So, of course, it consists of moving the couch. And y'all already know, when you move a couch, a sectional, kids, it's going to be stuff under there. <laughs> like, I was already prepared. So, of course, there's plenty of crap under the rug. And you can actually see, like, where the sectional was versus where it wasn't. Like, it's distinctly way more dirty in the middle versus where the sectional uh, was on the rug but anyway i had to whip out my uh dust mop i love this thing my husband bought it when we first moved into our house and it is wonderful especially for like um during the summer when he cuts the grass and the kids go outside and play and they trek all the grass in the house you just use it to clean our entryway uh mostly but you can cover a lot of floor with this dust mop. All night long, there's something special about you. You're the one that I want. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got. This is why I usually move my couch when the kids are not here. It's because, child, if they see a toy or something under there, they'll try to get it and put it back in the toy box. And I'm like, no. So the majority of that crap got swept right on up into the um into the trash. Like if you weren't looking for it all this time, then you don't want it and you don't need it. Won't you hold me like I'm yours? Show me that I'm yours. You know just what I want. Won't you love me like the last time? Like I time was right now. Show me what it's about. Love me to the morning, love me in the evening. You know what I want. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me love. You know you're mine, baby. So come give me love. I never felt nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we kiss. Can't get enough, babe. So come give me love. All 
Before I shampoo the rug, I'm going to give it a good vacuum to get all of the loose dirt out. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced with So I am using my Bissell Pro Heat Um carpet cleaner from this and i am using what am i using i'm using the hoover um pro carpet solution it works really really well and i add about five ounces of the hoover uh, carpet solution to a gallon of hot tap water and get to cleaning why don't we go back to why don't we go back to never wanted to So this carpet cleaner comes with um, three settings. I think one is quick dry, deep clean, and max clean. Mine is on max clean, of course, because this rug was disgusting, as you can see. Look how brown that water is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's so gross. Oh my goodness. So you're gonna see me go over one spot a couple of times because um Caleb waste hot chocolate on my rug and it had been um on here for a while, which is why I would I needed to go ahead and shampoo it. But it was gross way before then. So that's when he wasted hot chocolate, I was like, okay. <laughs> This is my cue to go ahead and clean the rug. I decided to um, shampoo the rug in the garage just because it's more space in the garage. It's concrete versus my wood floors. And I knew it was like so gross. I was going to have to go over this rug at least twice. I ended up going over it three times. Um, and I just didn't want the floor to be wet. And I, I wanted to make sure I got it like really clean on all edges. So I just rolled it up and rolled it into the garage. And as you can see, we have an extra long garage. Our garage is huge. So um, that back portion is used for just storage and stuff. And then we still can park our cars um, comfortably so we can get in and out of them. But yeah, we have an extra large garage. We have actually had several parties in this garage, <laughs> believe it or not. So, if you thought that you can have a party in, in your garage, yeah, you can. Um, ours is just, honestly, it's bigger than normal. But, yeah, we can, we can fit about 20 people in here comfortably with, like, a liquor table. And um, we had a brunch for my mom in here with tables and decor and all the foods in here. So, this extra large garage um, has paid off. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to 
Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby So this is the last go round with just clean water just to get some of the excess um, carpet solution out and as you can see I'm not going as slow as I was with um, actually cleaning it I'm just trying to extract as much of the soap out as possible and you see it's still a lot of solution that's in here
If you ever feel alone Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like the way where you affect me Okay, so this is the water, which is, this is just clean water, y'all. And you can see all the soap that was still in the rug and there was some dirt that was still in there uh, as well. So <laughs> that lets you know how gross these rugs and stuff get in your house and probably why people have allergies and things of that nature uh, because this is, this was in your rug. I just don't want this. I just don't want this moment to end. wasting hot chocolate in my rug so you probably saw me go over this spot a couple of times oh uh, i can't believe it came out you can kind of still see it but it looks much much better oh my gosh then like all of this area where the sectional wasn't it's the open area it's it was like really brown and really dirty you can kind of tell the difference between like right here and like over here where it's really light but it looks better than it did because it was like grossly brown <sighs> all right now we have to put this bad boy back in the house i'm gonna let it dry in the garage for like <clears throat> a little while and probably when i get back i have an interview at 30 I think so when I get back from that I'll put it in the house and let it finish drying because it's raining and it's humid and I know it's not gonna dry that well in the garage but well I'm glad that it's done uh, so let's put this section back together all right y'all so I lied <laughs> I did not let it dry in the garage and this was a huge 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 mistake because it was very wet but more so the mistake was putting the sectional back on top of it while it was wet instead of just letting it dry because of course the areas under the sectional did not dry well and guess what two days later i had to take the entire rug back up roll it up and put it in a garage because it mildewed <laughs> Yeah, it will do. So, um, let your rug dry completely, especially if you are going over it as many times as I did. Now, if I had gone over it like once, maybe twice, it probably would have. And if um, I had just kept it in place, but it was just way too wet um to let it dry in the house. Or if I would have just let it dry it outside, it wouldn't have mildewed either. But yeah in mildew so tip if you have a mildew carpet or rug take your carpet cleaner add 
this is a gallon size tank so i added a gallon of water to one cup of vinegar and i just went over the whole rug once then i just let it dry outside and now it smells fresh you don't need no space just follow me like a mirror you affect me like a friday night on the weekend i feel blessed and free i just don't want this moment to end but now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like you know where you affect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end And this is how everything looks. The rug turned out so clean and pretty. Oh my gosh. I honestly could not believe this rug got that clean. <laughs> like, that Hoover solution is bomb, y'all. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video for more cleaning motivation. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Like a mirror, you reflect me. I just don't want this. I just don't want this moment to end